We're here with Ed, the founder of AIO Exchange. How are you today? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying this lovely view and sunset pool party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's beautiful here. Well, you can see everything. The palm is awesome. Definitely. So tell me, how long have you been in Dubai? Uh, I've actually only just come back for a few days, but uh, I tend to switch between here and London. Um, so I kind of live here, live in London, switch between two. Um, but yeah, I, I love it here. There's so much going on in terms of business and crypto. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, definitely. And so tell me how you know the founder of these events, Chloe, and what kind of business you do with her. Okay, so uh, Chloe and I run events across the world, so in London, Thailand, various other places. Um, we've only just recently come into business though, so, so it's still um, work in progress. Um, but originally I'm the founder of AIO Exchange, like you mentioned, uh, which is a cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, we launched two years ago, uh, back in 2021, and we've been developing it since then. And then a couple of months ago we, we launched the public. Uh, for trading uh, and now we're a little bit different to to most exchanges so we don't have an order book or order matching software okay. but we're more like an aggregator so we take the top 16 exchanges so like binance coinbase bitfinex you, you name it all of the top ones yeah. and when a user tries to trade on our platform we'll deposit to the best exchange trade and withdraw in a single click um, and, and so by doing that, we're like a sky scanner of, of exchanges almost. Sky scanner of flights, you mean? Yeah, but yeah, for yeah. You know, trading? It's, it's just a good, good analogy. Um, oh, and, and yes, so, so we scan the top best exchanges for that specific size. Um, and, and we use the best blockchain, the best exchange, the best routes, um, you know, you name it, uh, to, to, to get that user the deal. Oh, okay, and how did you get into the industry in the first place? Uh, so I've actually got another company, a market making company, uh, where we work with various crypto projects to uh, increase volume, um, their presence in the market, and, and just um, price protection as well, you know, because everything always goes to pot in crypto. Um, and, and yeah, so I, I noticed that there was lots of differences between prices, uh, as I was mentioning. Um, and and the, one of the best ways to actually make use of that and to profit from that was to arbitrage between exchanges. So a software like AIO Exchange, you know, you can connect to and, and you've got access to all these different exchanges. And you can sometimes find that these cryptos, especially the smaller ones, can often differ as much as like 10 to 15 percent in, in prices. Um, and, and that's what motivated me to then start my exchange. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that there was some, the price difference might be so vast between exchanges. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I mean, it can be for even Bitcoin or Ethereum, right? I mean, if it's a low liquidity token, um, then maybe a $200, you, you'd find that you can find a 15% price difference. But even for Bitcoin and Ethereum, for those that are looking to trade like a thousand Bitcoins or, or, or 10,000 Ethereum, these massive sizes, between these different exchanges, they do vastly different prices because their order books are so different. Um, so, so if whatever it is, you, you can always find these, these price discrepancies. Okay, that's interesting. So then tell me how like what you find the most interesting in the industry when it comes to maybe besides trading are there other sectors that you're interested in uh in, in cryptocurrency um i i think in general i mean it's, it's such a vast market right um i mean the, the idea of smart contracts in general the fact that you can have these contracts that automatically define uh, you know whether, whether a certain case is, is right or wrong is, is just massive right there are so many places that can be applied like in any industry that currently exists whether that's crypto related or not um, it, you know it can be implemented so you know whether that's legal um, whether that is technological or, or whether that's in real estate like tokenizing houses and stocks it's, it's anything so um, honestly the whole thing about crypto interests me yeah I love the the idea of tokenization I think that's really gonna take off uh, well, it's already taking off, but like at least for the next bull run, yeah. it's going to be like a big factor. Yeah, what do you absolutely. think? Absolutely. I mean, you've got so many um, private companies that, that just don't have the opportunity to, to list themselves um, because you've only got the New York Stock Exchange or the London Stock Exchange, but these massive uh, conglomerates that, that you just don't have the opportunity to list on. But with these tokens, I mean, I, I can see a world in the future where you've got these small companies, like even say a, a, a pizza delivery service or, or, or something, you know, a, a pub or something where, where these smaller companies that people really like and people think that will do well even on a small scale people can look to tokenization to try and profit from that and get investment from their business and this isn't something that's possible with private equity because there's no market for it so it's it's definitely a, a, a very big um use case yeah, yeah and especially for smes like like you mentioned okay and then i always like to ask people that i talk to what does web3 mean to you <laughs> um I, I mean that's quite a, a broad question um I mean, I think but when it comes down to Web3, I think it's all about being decentralized. Um, so I, I, it's, it's just about having no single ownership, uh, for one, and everything being public. And, and I think as long as 
a company follows those guidelines and, and you know, it implements the, their business model this way, I, I think they can be called decentralized and, and you know, Web3. So I, I think the most important thing is, <laughs> sorry, so I'm getting a bit stuck here. <laughs> What you said was good. Okay, perfect. If you wanted to add anything. Uh, no, I, I think that's everything. It's just okay. quite broad, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, that's good. Um, all right, any advice that you might have for fellow people in the industry or traders or those who want to use your exchange? Uh, yeah, in terms of advice, um, I think lots of people look at the markets and they see how low crypto is at the moment um, and how crap everything is. Um, but it, you come places here like Dubai and you go to these events and you meet so many people who are working on these good projects all the time. You know, these developers that are coding away, these uh, founders who are working, you know, 10 hour shifts every single day. And you realize that it's, it's not going to be a failure because there's so many people working towards the same goal, building these amazing products that are really going to help the world. Um, that I, I guess my advice is is that crypto isn't isn't going to fall. It's it's not going to go down the drain, and that there are people that are really out there that are believing it and are pushing it forward. All right, I love that you're optimistic. All right, well, thank you, Ed, for your time. Cheers. Thank you.